Foul was called on Kevon Harris. He needs to be careful. Well, they, they average a lot of turnovers per game, but total on the year, they have forced 25 more turnovers <laughs> than they have committed. They're a good defensive team. This is Harris. Three-point shot, Como. Up and through. That's what that Duke pressure will do to you. This is a Duke defense that is much different than their defense over the last couple of years. They really get out, and they really get after you, and they have the personnel to do it. Two turnovers now for the Blue Devils. Harris probing, looking for room, throws it up on the rim. Minutes. Gets in a little bit of foul trouble, but you can see he took that three-point shot. He's a pretty good three-point shooter. That time got open inside. Oh, my goodness. Four turnovers. No, he did not bring his band. Or his cowboy hat, as far as we know. <laughs> Nine to five. Duke leading Stephen F. Austin. A lot of dribbling for Harris. Up and in. And that's the kind of basket that Harris is capable of making. Big and strong. All of those guys have thus far played up to snuff. White to cut. O'Connell. And a turnover. Bad pass by DeLorean. Boy, well, just continued very sloppy on offense for the Blue Devils. Kevon Harris. Not going to miss that in transition. He's and they've had some pretty good success doing that in recent years. Stephen F. Austin, as a university, has produced an NFL MVP. Dan Bonner, you should know this. Not too far away from where you live. The Washington Redskins, Mark Mosley, place kicker, NFL MVP. Inside. There he's the first man at double figures. He's got 10. It's an 8 0 run for the Blue Devils. Kensmill is fouled from behind. Inside. Hard block from behind by Goldwire. Duke may set the school record for blocked shots tonight. Harris ran into a wall and still scored. Well, he Challenge can, Stanley. He can score in traffic, can he? Sure he can. He's got eight leading score for the Lumberjacks. Average is 19.4. And now Harris ahead of the pack. What do you got, young fella? Very casual as he lays it up and in over Trey Jones. And a really good decision by Trey Jones to get out of the way, not only because he, not much Jones. chance, but because Harris is 6'6", 216 pounds. Something you rarely see. Kayvon Harris just told his coach, can I come up for just a second? And he his coach's answer is no. <laughs> Transition get back in there. Harris. So he's going to come off. Someone came to the scorer's table for him. He's not going to stay in much longer. time to state, so they are not shooting a high percentage. Duke leads by 10. John Como looking for help finds Harris. Kevon Harris into a thicket of Blue Devil defenders and still oh, it gets is, it to It ball. is amazing <laughs> how well he can score with people all around him. It's important to play here. Well, he, was, he was the second leading scorer in the South one last year. Don't go to sleep on the South of the Conference, folks. Here's Joey Baker. And a blocking foul called on Baker. They missed five of their last six. And they, they were shooting the ball very, very well before that stretch. So when you're missing your shots and you're turning it over, that is a not a formula for success. Wendell Moore from eight feet shot at 11. Here comes Harris. Kevon Harris somehow going 100 miles an hour scores the goal. With the guy again, there was two guys around him. He had to move the ball from one side to the other, get it up through a couple of sets of arms. And when he shoots the ball like that, it doesn't go in cleanly, Eric. If you notice, it bounces around the rim a couple times before it goes down. He's got the touch of a masseuse. Carry one and done. This is just a four-point game, folks. The number one team in the country being challenged in the first half. Time they need a huge three-point basket. He delivers, and that's an important one here to stop that run. He may not make all the shots, but he makes big ones. Don't tell me how many. Tell me when. Harris on the post up. Spins on the freshman Moore and scores on top of Carey. Key Von Harris is going to be a household name. 
by the end of the night. Oh, almost to steal. Harris ahead of the pack. What do you got, young fella? With two hands. Oh, the crowd is absolutely stunned. It's been the Kevon Harris show here in Cameron Indoor Stadium. He has got 18 first half points, and the locals start to chew on the fingernails. <laughs> They are certainly wondering what the heck is going on to try to go for the block shot. But then just this is another turnover. Duke, the turnover's piling up for the Blue Devils, and Stephen F. Austin converting. Stand by. Stephen F. Austin in the man to man. Last touched by the Lumberjacks. Nine seconds to shoot for Duke. Oh, okay, all right. Stanley Rodney Hood, both 6'6". Six, six, Longs that extend for days. Moore finds Stanley! And Harris able to throw it off the foot of Matthew Hurt. And they call the foul on Hurt. For Hurt, that's his first Duke person. Blue Devils feet to the fire. And Stephen F. Austin has scored 44 points, 38 of them from the interior, only six points outside the lane. Trying to get inside and do some work is Kevon Harris, and he's fouled. And so we're going to get the, the rarest of the rare free throws for the Lumberjacks. They've attempted just three, Dan Bonner, and that's while actually, Duke's attempted 22. Well, that's actually a little bit of a surprise. Lots of times when you see numbers like that, it's because the one team is standing outside and launching threes. They're not attacking the basket, but Stephen F. Austin has been on the attack all night long. Harris the misfire. He's playing in his 102nd career game. Came in average with over 1,380 points. He's gone over the 1,400 mark in today's game. This year's edition of the Duke Blue Devils. Great lefty center from the Naval Academy. Kensmill dumps it down and oh, missed opportunity for Hart. Lock. 12 points for the freshman Matthew Hurt. Harris from the elbow. Team of the country, the Duke Blue Devils. I think this is a very important possession for Stephen F. Austin. Harris gets a screen, gets into the paint before the shot, a foul. Harris walks it over the timeline, shaded by Stanley. Harris wants to take the ball to the basket. He's looking for a screen. Dump down, Kensmill. That's a great, great pass. Everybody was sort of standing there watching Harris. And hard the fact that he cannot pick up his fourth foul. Ripped away by Harris. Ahead oh, what a pass! Jackson. Score the goal! And we're tied at 62! What a pass by Kevon Harris. Who would have thunk? Number one team in the country is being challenged. But Kackle Reese did a really nice job staying between Hurt and the basket. Kackle Reese, a transfer from New Jersey Institute of Technology, NJIT. Eight on the shot clock. Harris, Kackle Reese. 14 and 16. Coming out of the Southland Conference, going toe to toe with a giant. Little push off, nothing called. Drops it through. Tie ball game. I think that's the first jump shot he's made. It's his first. Johnson inbounds to Harris. It's been his night. 25 points for the senior. Duke showing his own defense. Lead by a point. What a response that was. You got to go into carry. 
Last touch by Harris. Duke ball. Harris feeds it. Kinsville. Yes! And we're tied at 81. Oh, that's a great pass. Kinsville blocked from behind. I think Stanley and Carey both got a piece of that. Great reaction defensively. Carey just lost it. Bounced it off his shoe. System five of the six top leading scores gone from last season. Ricks from way out there. Game and trying to get a rebound. He hits the deck and Kevon Harris comes away with it. Shooting from deep out beyond the arc. That's the system for both these teams. Like to see what happens. Kevon Harris with a three. The first Simmons. triple. For that offensive rebound. And he'll try to go inside. Could not convert. Boy, these two teams in the paint defensively are as good as it gets. Harris hit a three earlier. He'll take another. 15 to shoot for Abilene Christian. Lennox catch and shoot three, missed everything. And can SFA run tonight? That's what they're gonna be their plan. Johnson had it denied, but there was a foul first. And Clay Gaiman. Pass tapped out of bounds. He had just six points on two of four shooting. Daniels corner three, no good. And Simmons taps it out. Daniels misses a second time. Como. Draws defenders and lays it in. The 5'11 senior. Mason, I think was throwing that up for a shot. Could not get it. And now where? Back and forth is a big part of that. Scoreless so far. Gaiman has not been scoreless so far. And he took some contact, no good. Now Coma wants to try to run. And now he's open. And Harris with a put back and one. Some kind of play by Kevon. Hey, good shot fake there, though. So the miss off the three pointer and with Peyton Reed. And the Lumberjacks have played. It's Ricks. Howell. And that ball loose. And SFA's going to do the exact same thing. And they're trying to find the best pieces on the court that fit the team at the moment. It, it, it's a puzzle. Ricks, corner three, and now a run out for Harris. A chance here and a run in transition with David Cackle on ESPN+. Plus. Glad you're with us. Off we go with the second half. Zach Carlisle and Owen Simpson. It's been some kind of night so far. Harris goes in and a very nice conversion. Largest of the game. Game in, he is bumped in a ball. SFA, its largest lead is seven. Hayden Howell's gonna drive in. Gaiman's gonna take a three. After all of that, that was a very confusing few seconds. That was goaltending is what we learned. Seven point game, Harris to the rack. Key Vaughn Harris. For the Wildcats, they need to clean it up if they have a chance in this one. A 27-11 second half. Another turnover. It's Harris and one. SFA on a roll. Leading by 14. One. It's a 7-0. S. Huge possession for both sides. Harris, you bet, what an answer. Key.